going yes. down. We're going to film in Newark today. We're doing urban farming, part of the pilot segment. And yeah, I'm super excited. We're, it's, it's just been a whirlwind and I wouldn't want it any other no. way. I'm just so grateful and thankful that I'm getting this opportunity. And I can't wait till I'm able to announce when it's picked up for a series, because I don't know yet. But everyone is saying yes. Hi, good morning. Everyone is saying yes. And, you know, as soon as I know, you'll see me jumping up and down and crying because, yes, that's just a piece to the the empire puzzle piece to the and also make sure you follow me on youtube because i am documenting this journey like behind the scenes um every time we go out to do a location scout or to even you know film i'm documenting this because i really want to be able to look back and see you know where it really you know had the breakthrough breakthrough the breakthrough for me and I just want to be able to you know show that it is all possible and I haven't even got to you know the tip of the iceberg yet but I'm grateful that you know the baby steps are being seen and there's just so much more that I want to do also why can't y'all curb your motherfucking dogs like it shouldn't be where we're walking down the street and we have to look down to make sure we don't step in dog mess. Like that's so disrespectful. It's so, I get it. You don't want to clean up, but have them shit in the yard or on the on the grain on the grass or the rocks or something. Like who wants to walk with their head down? That's insane. I have to look up and I look down. I have to look up and I have to look down. Like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm concentrating on dog shit and that's endangerment of my safety because I'm not paying attention to my environment because I don't want to step in dog shit. Clean up after your dog. So this is the first time that I have Heading the train up into Newark, and now I'm here because I'm going to the offices, get my makeup and stuff done before we film. And yeah, let's see what's going on. You know what gets on my nerves is whenever I go somewhere and nobody knows shit. It gets on my nerves when nobody knows shit. Like y'all are standing here selling your selling your stuff, and I ask a question and everybody's looking like scooby-doo like that's insane to me how many times you've been here selling your your merches and stuff like one thing about me i will get easily annoyed when i have to keep doing things so they sent me upstairs and now I have to go back downstairs because the area is closed that they're telling me. And I'm like, y'all don't have um, daily meetings to say what the fuck is going on in the, in the, in the area? Like, Yes. Naomi's about to beat my face. Uh, thank you. Do a time lapse or you doing regular? Oh, should I do a time lapse? Mm -hmm. It takes a little.
so we are leaving. I never get used to on air makeup versus like natural. Yeah, because it looks mm -hmm. it's extra hard. harsh. It looks hard. Okay. Yeah. So we're here at Hawthorne. This is the first part of the segment. It's one of the, it is the largest urban farm space here in Newark, New Jersey. Um, but there's, here with my like, work, memorizing, well, not really memorizing, but going over, you know, key points that I want to ask Tobias Fox for this particular segment because he is heavily involved in the sustainability They're movement. Just annoying. I feel like and I have, these urban spaces working, provide like a food for like the community a at different times of over. the year. Like some of those sacks um, just slide. Like you just release them and it's like, oh. Yeah. That's what we got going on. That's what we got going on. I so, the rows that grew from concrete, I had to, room? you know, it's like, I had to talk about Tupac because, you know, it stuck it to me every time. A rose that grew from concrete. Um, so. Uh, I've got Benro legs. A rose that grew from concrete. And, uh, a rose that grew from concrete a, in the late to is a black metaphor black. for resilience and a rose that grew from yeah, a rose that grew from concrete by the late to is a metaphor for resilience and the ability to grow from different circumstances. On set, getting ready for the first part of the segment. And we're talking about urban farming. I just really cannot wait for y'all to see this full project. And I can't wait. I just can't wait. Because we're talking about the past, present, and future of food. And how we're moving into the future with providing nutritious options. It's important for you to know where your food came from. Got a good breeze out here. On set, urban farming.